On this call, we got called out with a description saying that the system ran constantly previously and then all of a sudden stopped working at all. We're going to start out with a simple visual check of the components inside the air handler and then we will check for electrical input to the system since we don't see anything that looks like it should be causing a problem. We're also going to do a quick motor spin, make sure that the motor hasn't seized up. We are checking for high voltage and we've got nothing. So we move to the disconnect and um, see what's going on there. Actually, if you can tell, the disconnect is pretty heavily melted. Um, and so that is most likely the reason why we do not have power on the system. The electrical is so melted that I can't even pull the disconnect handle out. Um, I have already turned the power off, just so you know. And um, I'm going to have to destroy the box just to see what's going on underneath. Um, it takes a little bit of doing, but eventually I pull out half of the disconnect. We've got some pretty serious damage going on there. Um, one of the wires is completely off and uh, it's in trouble. So here we move on to removing the disconnect in fast motion, so provided by Slow Pro application on the iPhone. It took me almost 15 minutes to do this in real time and I was able to cut it down to about a minute and a half um, so that you guys wouldn't have to sit there watching me. So, anyway. All right, disconnect is in, and we have power back on. Surprisingly enough, that uh, burned out box did not trip the breaker. Um, so, just trying to figure out what's going on now that we've got power. Um, actually noticed that the low voltage wire for the fan control was broken, um, so it should not be caused by all, any of the uh, low voltage controls causing a fault wanted to make sure that the only thing stuck on running was the blower and the heat strips were not running so we confirmed that. If the heat strips had been running with the blower then we would have had a much higher amp draw on the uh, incoming power to the system. So um, we're going to proceed now that we've got an idea of what may be going on 
and um, try to do a little bit of troubleshooting. I have system power off again and I'm simply checking the relay on the fan delay board. Um, there are three points on it and I'm getting continuity across all three between normally closed and common, normally open and common, as well as normally closed, normally open. Um, really got to hand my hate to the engineers that decide where to put things on these units. This blower capacitor is all the way at the back of the blower housing, and um, I'm barely able to reach back there. Video is really bad because I'm trying to shove my head up in there. Um, using my little DeWalt angle grinder, and I'm able to take the screw out, pull the capacitor. Um, I'm going to relocate it to the front of the blower housing so that in the future I don't have to stretch myself back into that little space simply to check the capacitor. I guess I'm actually thankful that it was not 100 degrees outside, 130 in the attic, uh, because this would have been that much more frustrating to try to reach back in there if there was moisture on the system and I was hot and sweaty. I was finally able to get the uh, capacitor strap out of the unit and now I am going to remount it in a very easily accessible position unlike what it was before and um, we'll be done with that part. As you just saw, we came up with 14.8 with no load on the capacitor. Now we're going to run the calculation for capacitance under load, and we've got 14.06. We've got a blower control board for this Goodman air handler. new board we have a common terminal where I'm going to put my red lead and a normally closed terminal and then we will test the normally open and then between normally open and normally closed. We have continuity where we should and none where we shouldn't. After proving that the switch was not opening on either of the terminals I also discovered that the power feed into that switch had been miswired on constant power.
Now that I am satisfied that the system should be functioning properly, we will take our amp draw and our volts and then we'll get a temperature split and calculate the electric heat CFM. System is a three ton and we have 1117 CFM on the air handler. With the current conditions, I am satisfied with these pressures on R22 running in heat. I needed to find something for you guys to watch while I thanked you for uh, subscribing, like, comment, and share. Um, whiskey is uh, a little bit of a dingbat and um, enjoys playing in the weed bed. Can't really call it a flower bed, there's more weeds in it. But um, that's been fixed, we've done a little landscaping. so. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Mention whiskey if you made it this far. Bye.